So with the 1.0.3 patch now within Diablo 4, we have seen significant improvements in regards to experience awarded from Nightmare Dungeons. I did a little bit of testing now guys, the patch is brand new and let me tell you, the changes are unreal in regards to that experience people. Today we're getting to it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So they stated within the patch notes that they have significantly increased the experience awarded to players for completing Nightmare Dungeons and significantly increased the experience gained from killing monsters in Nightmare Dungeons too. And let me tell you guys, it is unbelievable. I decided to use one of my well favourite places for well, co-op farming anyway within the champion's demise i ran it solo and you can see i'm basically a level 80 here you can see from where i started this dungeon up until where i finished it and look at the xp increase i did this solo without a potion not in co-op this is solo running it yeah i think the enemies were like four or five levels above me maybe six levels above me but it's still a walk in the park the xp gains are absolutely unreal here i'm not even joking now i don't play on pc so I don't know the exact numbers here, the differences, but maybe doubled. I'm not even sure. Now, there's no change in regards to monsters in dungeons that I've noticed. I've run a few nightmare dungeons now. The XP in all of them seems so much better. It really does. Now, what I will say is, guys, it seems as though they have patched. Now, I did do a video on the patch notes, and I'm not aware of them saying they fixed or nerfed the ability to farm Nightmare Dungeons, but that definitely seems the case for me now. I tried the usual starting up a Nightmare Sigil, going to said Nightmare Dungeon, running inside of it, coming back out of it, going to another dungeon on the map, it doesn't matter which one it is. I completed the first objective. In fact, I completed a couple of objectives, left, went back to the Nightmare Dungeon, went into it, farmed half of it, left it, went back into it, and it hadn't reset so i'm not sure you can do that now i'm not sure you can farm nightmare dungeons but either or guys in regards to xp you earn from nightmare dungeons is absolutely ridiculous now it's not even a joke so what i will tell you guys is same rules apply really in regards to enemies levels and you if they're three above you or more that's where you're going to get the best xp i'd probably roughly aim for getting enemies to be three levels above you but in regards to the dungeons you want to look out for with those sigils i mean champions demise is great if you're playing in a team if you're playing in a party of three or more champions demise is absolutely unreal but there's still other dungeons you can do. Uldor's Cave is probably my favourite in regards to XP and efficiency. You can earn tons of this in this one, guys. You really can. The Demon's Wake is another great dungeon to do as well. I mean, I would say farm, but you can't farm nightmare versions. The Haunted Refuge isn't too bad either. I really like the Iron Hold. I mean, this was nerfed into the ground prior, but it's still a semi-decent dungeon you can farm i mean if you get a nightmare version of this it's going to be absolutely unreal blind burrows ain't as good as it once was but it's still a great great dungeon to do the dumb hay tunnels i believe that's pronounced that way located here on the map this is also a great one to run also efficiency wise as well it's one of the better ones and I also love the Forgotten Ruins too. I mean, these are all great dungeons you can use in regards to Nightmare versions. I mean, look out for these ones. They're way more efficient than the rest, in my experience anyway, in earning that XP. But yes, people, I wanted to do a little test in regards to how much XP you would earn from these. Now, after, well, post 1.0.3, and let me tell you, the XP gains now is significantly, like they said, significantly more. So in regards to farming the same dungeon over and over, I'm not sure, guys, that is really needed now uh, because Nightmare Dungeons, like I said, they give you an absolute ton of that XP. Now, I will try the How Tide event because I hear these are absolutely incredible too. Now, How Tide events, I'm not going to lie, were my favourite farm. I mean, in the game for XP, I mean, yes, they're only here for an hour, but within that hour, guys, I was earning way more XP from How Tides than what I'd earn from any dungeon. And now they've significantly increased XP you'll get when opening chests. So the more enemies you destroy, the more cinders you collect, the more chests you can open up. I mean, it's going to be crazy for that XP. And again, yes, like I said, I ran Champions Demise. You're seeing gameplay of that in the background now. And by the way, guys, if you like my Necromancer non-bone build, by the way, and you're interested in 
what I have going on here. I uploaded a video last night on this exact build. So do check it out, guys. It's pretty decent. I'm not going to lie for a non bone build for the Necromancer anyway. But yes, I decided to run the, the Champions Demard. Yes, it's a few levels above me. But you're seeing, guys, that the XP, you can actually just see the XP bar going up. Through the group of ads I'm killing, you're seeing the XP bar going up. Now, run the Champions in my solo isn't the most efficient because it splits off into three areas. But, but I mean, there's may, way, way more efficient builds out there than my Necromancer. Some of the rogues I've seen, some of the druids I've seen. I mean, some of every other, every other class I've seen besides the Necromancer, they can run things so much quicker. So I hate you would be able to probably run the Champions Demise in under 10 minutes as a solo player, as a co-op team or a group of three doing this i mean like i said you split off into three directions you all grab those said things needed you'll get this done in under five minutes quicker than that there's no efficient way no quicker way to get xp in the game than doing this in champions demise in my opinion but again you cannot farm it now because they're seemingly nerfed uh the nightmare dungeon farms i mean if i'm doing it wrong guys please let me know down below for something i've missed let me know hit me up on my discord hit me up on my twitter it's a new method you know about hit, let me know about that too i mean if you were be able, if we were able to farm nightmare dungeons now it would be utterly broken there's gonna be way more level 100s uh sooner than later now i believe because of these nightmare dungeon buffs as well because they are absolutely unreal but yeah guys like i said nightmare dungeons now and the xp they give you is crazy definitely try out your favorite i mean if you got a favorite spot let me know what that is also again mine are definitely Ordo's cave iron hold haunted refuge i mean even carnal house that isn't too bad either the dumb hen tunnels is a great one to farm too i mean that gives you some great results there Alderwood wood isn't too bad either oh demon's wake like i said though is probably well the end the end room of this is just rammed full of enemies i mean there's hundreds in there the amount of XP that must give off now is absolutely ludicrous. Now, again, because I don't play on PC, I don't know the exact buff they've done to these monsters in these dungeons, these nightmare dungeons, but it definitely seems it's at least doubled under what I'm seeing. I mean, like, like I said, you, you guys saw my XP bar at level 79 to 80. That much of a chunk from one dungeon is ludicrous. I was probably getting half that, a third of that prior. I don't know guys you let me know but yes nightmare dungeons now are definitely the way forward shame we can't farm them but i'm not sure we need to but guys let me know your thoughts let me know your results let me know what you found down below guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one